You know, NASCAR was an off weekend. So who do you suppose rolled in to the historic Gator Nationals this weekend? Your Atlanta winner from two weeks ago, Kurt Busch, driver of the Miller Lite Dodge. Well, he's got himself a pretty good looking Dodge here as well. It is a Dodge Challenger single turbo, all steel race car. Earlier this weekend, John Kernan caught up with him. Kurt Busch, you just won in Atlanta, but you're not in Disney World. You're a little north of there. What brings you to Gainesville? Uh, just the prestige and the history of the Gator Nationals. And uh, me and my buddy, about two years ago, bought this car, started working on it. And we bought it just really just as a muscle car. Then it started taking on different identities. So we got a turbo on it. It's got a power glide transmission, four link rear suspension. We, we went full tilt drag racing. So here we are to have some fun. What's the most important thing you've learned, but you've only, what, only had this car down the track one time, but you have been studying with Roy Hill, right? Yeah, Roy Hill's drag racing school helped me out a ton uh, just to get my arms around everything. I'm only through the 101, but there's so much that goes on in drag racing that I never even knew. And a lot of it starts behind the starting line with the burnout, the staging, and I think the weakest link is going to be the driver as far as cutting a good tree. Tell me a little bit more about the car. How did you get it? How much did you pay for it? How much work has gone into it? Uh, it's been countless hours. Uh, we started with 15 grand, bought it off eBay. <laughs> we bought it just for the look that it had, and then we started to gut it, threw all the parts away because we knew we were going to make a race car with it. And it just one thing led to the next. I don't know how much money's into it. I have yet to add up the receipts. But my guys, a bunch of good volunteer guys, and then my crew chief, Jesse Walker, he's been with me the last 15 years in all of my racing adventures. And he's a drag racer at heart, so I trust him 100%. Best of luck to you, and will we see you out here again in the uh, near future? I hope so. Uh, just got to find some more time. Uh, off weekends are hard to cut by on the, come by on the cup schedule, but, you know, there's NMRA, IHRA, uh, Outlaw Racing. I think this car's got a seven-second pass in it once we get it underway. Oh, good stuff. Well, he finally did get it underway here in Gainesville on Sunday, earlier today. Need to work on that reaction time a little bit, a 1-0. And, of course, he's running super gas, which means you want to run 9.90 seconds on the index. Pretty good job there, 9.94 seconds. But as he gets to know this race car more and more, oh, yeah, he's going to become a lot better. After all, he's a professional race car driver. How about some other celebrities and race car drivers that have ventured over to the sport of drag racing? Let's take a look at some of those now, Lewis Bloom. Start with the seven-time NASCAR champ, Richard Petty. Raced in 1965, but he used to take some of his cars to the drag strip before he brought them to Daytona. And how about NFL quarterbacks like Dan Pastorini? He won Atlanta back in 1986. What's tough for racing Joe Amato or getting crushed by a linebacker? Mm, tough question there. John Andretti, former court and, cart and NASCAR driver, drove top fuel on a limited basis, but who beat him after he got his two-round wins? That was Atlanta, 1993. He got beat by some guy named Mike Dunn. I think he's pretty good. Way to go, Mikey. Basketball players, oh yeah, we got them too, including the slam dunk champ, very first one of those, Larry Nance. Larry Nance, one of the tallest guys in pro stock, and love when he used to race Steve Schmidt, one of the shortest guys in pro stock a couple years ago. Always good for a good laugh. And equally tall, Tom Hammonds, 12-year NBA veteran, in pro stock since 1996, but recently decided it's time to step away yep. from the sport of drag racing. All great uh, winners, though, when it comes to sports.